Would a muskie attack a scuba diver? That's the question here. And we're going to answer it. And the answer is yes. Now, I've been diving with muskies for 15 years, trying to photograph them. Know how to get in close to them. Approach and get a good encounter with the fish. But there is always the chance that the muskie, it's a wild animal. There's a chance that the muskie will not be very cooperative with me. The muskie is the Niagara River's apex predator. Being at the top of the pyramid, they are naturally few in numbers. Some divers have dove the river several times but have never seen or only gotten a quick glimpse of this magnificent predator. Solid conservation efforts by the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources, Muskies Canada, and the Niagara Muskie Association have helped to maintain this urban fishery. On July 4th, we were blessed with beautiful visibility, 30 feet in a river that usually averages 12 foot visibility. Now have no doubt that we go looking for muskies when we go diving. They're my favorite fish to film. All the guys like seeing them that I dive with. And we try to get out into the prime water and look for muskies. We also try to get close to the fish and get great shots. We're filming with a standard GoPro. Like this GoPro 5 right here is what I'm using. And we try to get in there and get the shot. And to get a good shot, a shot that I like, I'm generally within one to six feet of the fish. That's, that's what I strive for. It took a little work to learn it. it. took time. There wasn't really any book. I don't know anybody else doing this. We had to figure out how to approach the fish, what they would accept from us, and what we needed to do to get that close. And that's something over the past 15 years of diving with them and recording them that we've developed. Now, i got to say in that time, I've never been bitten, never really been touched by a fish until this last time where, where the fish basically bumped me. Here's some video of the fish that we like. These fish came right in. What a beautiful fish right there. It's a nice, nice musky. Came right up to the camera. Gave me a good look. Didn't get too aggressive. Here's a, a little bit smaller fish on a, a nice structural element. A little drop off. So it's nice to see, see where we want to see him. That's great. Here's one that comes up to Brian. He's got the GoPro going. Comes up and gives him a nice look. These are the kind of things we try to do. Here's another fish. This fish is, uh, we saw him several times this day. I can tell by the blotch on his side. Here's a pair that give Brian a good look. Again, two really nice fish. Great conditions. Good deal. You're going to see this one. The fish come back and uh, try to go high on Brian, give him a little bit of attitude. But again, didn't get real close, got within a couple feet, just what you want. Right. <laughs> Here's a big old fish coming in. Got a little scarring on it, gives it a little character. Yeah, all good stuff. Who's there? What you're going to see right here is not going to be gore or anything real bloody. I'm sorry to disappoint some of you. It, it's not going to be like some of the shots you see on the internet where somebody was dangling their foot off a dock and the muskie mistook that foot for a wounded fish or a bird. This shot is of a muskie that is clearly going to take an aggressive posture, run towards me unprovoked, and give me a little bump. That's all it's going to be. Now 
Now before you ask, I'm going to tell you that this fish is about three foot, maybe a little longer, 36 to 40 inches. Not the biggest fish in the river, not too shabby. Could I have ended that encounter before the muskie hit me? Absolutely. I could have exhaled sharply into my regulator. The exhaust bubbles tend to scare the fish away. You also just wave your arm, they take off. But I wanted the fish to come in, roll in. I was hoping he'd stop about six inches, about <laughs> six inches shy of the lens, give me a look, and then kind of swim off. Uh, it didn't happen that way. So in this one rare occurrence, a muskie did come in and hit a scuba diver. One more time at half speed because it's badass. Please help protect this fish and yourself when you catch one. Be careful unhooking the fish, be careful handling the fish and try to get it back into the water as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching.